You missed the gender reveal party. You missed it. It is a boy. OK. OK. I thought you was going to be excited about that. Cool. All right. I wish you could have came. Well, before we get into that, sorry about your loss. Um, Thank you. Let me say that. You were the first person to actually say that. So that's why I'm like kind of with, with the whole sex of the baby and stuff, because it's like, OK. Yeah. And with you and I trying to build a relationship or whatever we got going on, I didn't think it was right to not say nothing to you, even though it looked a little shaky. Everybody had their opinions while you weren't there. Of course, everybody had their opinions on why I wasn't there, but yet not one person picked up the phone to call to say, hey, my condolences, you know, are you a ride? Especially Empress. I mean, don't be upset when I don't come to stuff and you ain't even got my back when something is going down. What happened? I'm, I'm really salty about it. Like, I'm not gonna act like I'm over it. That whole situation with <laughs> is hell because when you called me and I text you and I said funeral, I was doing the virtual funeral. Oh, see, but think about it. You saying that, but you not explaining that. That's why I was like, wait a minute, huh? This is what I, I feel like everybody needs to understand. I'm going through a death in my family, so I'm not thinking about no damn gender reveal. I think if everybody else understood that, it would make more sense. That's what I. That's what I'm saying. But see, like, but that's the they thing. They need to see this. I'm not gonna keep trying to justify myself to a whole group of women. No matter what I do, y'all always gonna find a reason to not like me. <laughs>